him by nature, father of lies. That's why it is. He can he can he can just lie, lie. You no, know, he's had a lot more practice at lying than you've had at discerning the truth. That's why you've got to abide in the word, not lean on your own understanding, and trust in God to reveal the truth to you. He has sent the Holy Spirit to lead us into all truth. I, I'm going to tell you this. NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, the History Channel, the Discovery Channel, your favorite channels, they are all instruments of propaganda. Adolf Hitler and Joseph Goebbels, his minister of propaganda, they had nothing on MTV and reality television. I'm telling you the truth. We have changed because we have been in, in just overwhelmed by propaganda and have not had on the helmet of salvation. I'm going to read you from an article in the Humanist Magazine. I am convinced that the battle for humankind's future must be waged and won in the public school classroom by teachers who correctly perceive their role as the proselytizers of a new faith a religion of humanity that recognizes and respects the spark of what theologians call divinity in every human being. These teachers must embody the same selfless dedication as the most rabid fundamentalist preachers, for they will be ministers of another sort, utilizing a classroom instead of a pulpit to convey humanist values in whatever subject they teach, regardless of the educational level preschool, daycare, or large state university. The classrooms must and will become an area of conflict between the old and the new. The rotting corpse of Christianity, together with all its adjacent evils and misery, and the new faith of humanism, resplendent in its promise of a world in which the never-realized Christian idea of love thy neighbor will finally be achieved. Then, perhaps, we will be able to say with Tom Paine that the world is my country, all mankind are my brethren, and to do good is my religion. It will undoubtedly be a long, arduous, painful struggle, replete with much sorrow and many tears, but humanism will emerge triumphant. It must be if the family of humankind is to survive. That was an article by a guy named John Dunphy in the Humanist Magazine in 1983. He didn't make a secret of it. They've never made a secret of it. And this is one of the reasons I tell you, and if you're a parent of a child, I want you to know that there is, there is a hidden agenda in the public government educational system. And that hidden agenda is to destroy traditional Christianity. It is. Why do you think things have changed? Because the enemy had a plan. And the church sat back oblivious to the devil's plan. I'm telling you the truth. Listen to this, mommy and daddy. You know the great command. Somebody came to Jesus and said, what's the foremost commandment? And he said, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Then he goes on, he continues to say, these words which I am commanding you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your sons and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 7. And then in Ephesians 6, 4, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Stop sending your children, your sons and daughters, back to Egypt in those great big yellow things that you see flooding our streets every morning and afternoon to do what the Holy Spirit moved Jeremiah to speak to the people of God to say not to do. Jeremiah 10.2, do not learn the ways of the nations.